Why do you have a bathing suit on? I'm in the shower. I don't have a bathing suit on. my curly hair routine which i'm pretty excited for because i've been wanting to do this for the longest so yeah but before i start i do want to um let you guys know that i did use apple cider vinegar and the reason why i use apple cider vinegar is because it helps me get rid of buildup and it cleanses my hair more because i do like a lot of volume in my hair and if i have buildup and i won't get the volume i want this also has a lot of benefits and I'm not going to show you guys how I apply it because then the video will be too long and I can always make another video. Enough talking about this, let's get this video started. Y'all better take out your pens and paper and take some notes, okay? okay. Alright, so we're about to get in the shower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. As you can see, here I am rinsing off the apple cider vinegar because I don't want my hair to be smelling like that all day. So I have to make sure I rinse it off well. I don't usually use the vinegar like all the time, mostly when my hair needs it and today my hair really needed it. Okay, so now it's time to shampoo my hair. I'm going to be using Shea Moisture Retention Shampoo. And the reason why I like this shampoo is because it cleanses my hair without depriving my hair of its natural oil. It also hydrates my hair. I would really recommend this shampoo for people who just transition to natural hair or have damaged hair and lack moisture because this shampoo cleanses without being so harsh. And like I said, it hydrates your hair. Okay, so I'm applying the shampoo one more time and if you notice, I'm only applying it to my scalp because my scalp needs the most attention while shampooing. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be rinsing the shampoo off my hair to get ready for the next step which is conditioning my hair. The conditioner I'm using is the Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner and it's just a conditioner that goes with the shampoo I used earlier. I didn't realize how good these products were. I mean, I know Shea Moisture is a good brand, but I didn't know how my hair would react to these products. But my hair likes it a lot. Hi. What are you doing? I'm in the shower. Why do you have a bathing suit? I'm in the shower. I don't have a bathing suit on. So why are you wet and you have clothes on? Because I'm in the shower. But why do you have clothes on in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, I'm just joking. Wait. Oh, you're going in there? Wait. Yeah, it's foggy. I'm doing my curly hair routine. <laughs> You didn't text me? Yeah. Okay, y'all. I'm sorry for that. My friend called. But I'm back. And I'm applying my conditioner again because my hair this day was really tangled. I had my hair in a bun all week. This is me finger detangling my hair. And the reason why I finger detangle is because I'm either too lazy to get the brush. I forget the brush or I can't find the brush. And honestly, I don't really mind finger detangling. I've been doing it for a while now and it doesn't really bother me because I don't have thick and curly, I mean thick and long hair anymore. My hair is now like medium length 
and it's like it's not hard to deal with when it comes to detangling. Just wanted to let you guys know that your shampoo should not be containing any sulfate because that dehydrates your hair and your conditioner should not be should not have any silicone because silicone weighs down your hair, brings build up and can over time lead to hair loss. Okay guys, so I just finished washing my hair. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I style my hair. My hair right now is still soaking wet and it's really important to have your hair soaking wet so it can absorb all the hair products you're going to be putting in them. Right now I'm separating my hair in half. The upper half I'm going to tie it into carrot and the lower half I'm going to separate them into two pieces to make it easier for me to apply the leave-in conditioner. The leave-in conditioner I'm going to be using is the Moisture Balance Leave-in Conditioner by Bounce Curl. And I really like this leave-in conditioner because it doesn't weigh down my hair. I'm just running the leave-in conditioner down my hair with my hands. And I'm going to be taking the denim brush and brush my hair outwards. And then curling it at the end as I'm doing right now. The brush helps me have more defined curls and distribute the leave-in conditioner evenly throughout my hair. I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side. Just brushing my hair outwards and then curling it at the end. Okay, after that, I'm going to be finger curling my hair for more definition. And I don't do this all the time. Just when I'm looking for a specific look, I guess this day, I wanted my hair to be really defined. But I really do recommend finger curling for people who have transitioned to natural hair or have heat damage. Because what finger curling does... It trains your hair to curl and it, it brings it back to its natural curl pattern. Especially for people who have a lot of heat damage and their hair does not want to curl anymore. Finger curling just gives it a little bit of help. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing to the upper half my hair. I'm going to section it into two. Then apply the leave-in conditioner and brush it with the denim brush. Right now I'm going to tie the back of my hair so I can focus on the upper half of my hair and apply the leave-in conditioner. I am brushing my hair outwards again and then curling it at the end. Now I'm gonna show you guys a close-up of me finger curling my hair. I'm just taking a piece of my hair and just twirling it with my fingers. I would recommend working with smaller sections when doing this. brushing my hair and finger curling, I am now going to apply this light cream gel by Bounce Curl. I take a decent amount and pour it on my hand. And now I scrunch my hair. I don't comb it through my hair because gel is only supposed to hold your hair. It's not supposed to be directly in your hair. I'm applying a little bit more gel because this gel is not necessarily heavy on my hair and I know it won't weigh down my curls which is one of the reasons that I like this gel. Okay so now I'm using a microfiber towel to dry my hair. You shouldn't use a cotton towel which are the towels you use to dry your body. Cotton towels have a coarse and dry texture and this can cause frizz or even take moisture out of your hair. If you don't have a microfiber towel, you can use a plain white t-shirt and that works. Okay guys, so I just finished styling my hair. And now I have to wait until it dries. Hey guys, I'm back and my hair is fully dried. It is 100% dried. 
And do you see this curl definition? This is why I love um, finger curling, curl, finger curl. You know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I'll show you guys what I do at the end after um, my hair is fully dry. So what I do is I take a pick and you can find these anywhere. But yeah, I take a pick and I just pick my hair. I'm sure you guys. Just pick. Pick out your hair. This gives me more volume. So yeah. Now I'm just gonna switch to the side. You gotta pick it until you feel um, satisfied with how your hair looks. Just pick your hair. And then I just like running my fingers through my scalp to open up the hair more. I just go through my hair and separate the curls that I feel like needs to be separated because sometimes the curls do get clumped up and I just separate them. Yeah, my hair gets bigger as the days go by. Like my hair naturally will get bigger and there'll be more volume as the days go by. But yeah, day one, that was bad. I like it. Okay guys, so I hope you liked this video. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, questions, you can always DM me or comment down below. Yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um and, and share. Share this video. Comment something nice and if you don't know what's comment, comment a red heart to show that you appreciate this video. And also the products that I use will be down below as well. So, I hope you have a great day. Bye. See you in the next video.